how you can use chat GPT to increase the effectiveness consistency of your LinkedIn marketing so that you can do more in less time attract more ideal clients and ultimately stop being a best kept secret so let's jump over into my screen and do that we're going to go through 12 use cases we're going to look at social media posts we're going to look at making them into blogs which you could turn into a linkedin newsletter we're going to look at emails you could use once you're connected with people so let's jump across onto my screen there we go we are inside chat gpt if you've not already joined i'll drop the link below the video it's free as of the recording of this video all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm just going to do an example on leadership coaching or leadership consultancy just a, a, some sort of b2b service so so I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to begin. I'm going to say generate five headlines for LinkedIn posts about leadership coaching. Let's imagine you know you need to get your content out there. You're looking at a blank page. You don't know what to do and you need some inspiration because this is the best way to use it. And that used to be the best way for AI, by the way, but it does much more than that now. So there we go. Let's put that in. One, five habits of highly effective leaders. Insights from a leadership coach. The importance of emotional intelligence, leadership development. I like number two, by the way. I think we'll go with number two. All right, so they are good prompts for doing a post on LinkedIn and therein lies an important, an important fundamental about how to use any AI tool. It's only gonna be as good as the information you give it. It's only gonna be as good as the input and the context that you give it. You want a better output, you need to give it better output. And that's really a reflection of life. If you wanna change the output, you need to change the input, not just doing more of the same thing. So let's go back and go to the next one. Let's. Let's write a blog post about number two. I like number two. Include three sections. There you go. And it's gonna do that. And by the way, we're not gonna do a blog post. This is just the quickest way I've found to get to a reasonable LinkedIn post, because again, it needs the context to do it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to, can you write me a 300 word LinkedIn post about why emotional because I've looked at those and I've decided there's not enough but it's given me the idea because this isn't one that I've got on on the pre prepared prompts I had but let's just see what it comes back with here in leadership is more important than ever and we need to add the tone. Keep keep the tone, the tone serious and authoritative. <laughs> this is why I have Grammarly. I'm not a great speller. There we go. I'm the Microsoft Word generation. Let's have a look what it's bringing up. I think this is a bit generic, but it's more than enough to use in order to produce your own content from it. I would say that's too long as well. Okay, so emotional intelligence also key to effective decision making. Okay, so let, we could, let's say we were producing a post. We could then start in a note taking app, just pulling it out and pulling it in there. But let's go to the next one. Can you write me a sales email as a leadership consultancy? That's a decent headline. This is, by the way, what I found Chap GPT to be best for. Idea generation, short headlines, hooks, structures of blog posts, and then when you've written the blog post structure, getting it to fill in the gaps. That's good, that's good. I'll say thank you, I've gotta be polite. Make that sales email into a video script that will last approx three mins. Can you do that? Video script, perfect, all right, let's have a look. Let's have a look how good it is. Hello and welcome. All right, this is good. This is good, all right, let's go back up to the top. I like these headlines. I'm just gonna demonstrate how the input changes when you put in, in the headlines. Five habits, can you write a short social media post about this? Sure, here's possible social media post. Yep, good. Here we are, this is a good one. Here, this is another one you can do. Can you generate uh, titles and heading for a blog post about how to become a better leader with remote workers? 
Now, I'm going to move on now to talk about how I'm using my video scripts, because these are all really good examples. There we are, look at that. Five possible types heading for blog posts and becoming a leader with remote workers. These are all really good, but I'm actually now going to show you how to get more out of it, and this is how I do it. So if I go into Descript, which is where I keep my transcripts, you don't need to have D D Descript, you just need to have a video. So let's do a video from December, pitch. It's going to retrieve the project. And what I'm going to do, and what you can do, is you can get the transcripts of your video or the transcripts of the content you've already done, and then you can put it into chat GDP. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to say, can you write a YouTube video? I'm just going to say YouTube description because it can be used on LinkedIn, it can be used anywhere. You're going to see the difference and how better the content is now. So let's get the content. There we go. Put it in there. It's thinking. Good. And that's a really good summary. Do you see the difference where you give it the headlines and when you give it the more to work with, how the results improve? Now make into a 10 word YouTube headline. Perfect. Job done. So you can recreate, use all your content throw it in here and use it to create better, use it to recycle, repurpose, put on other platforms. It's really, really gonna help you. I hope that's been an enjoyable video. And if it has been an enjoyable video, and don't forget to check out any of our videos on this channel, we are covering how to help you grow your business online. We have a focus on B2B, but it's also applicable for no, you no matter what you're doing, trying to grow your business or grow your existing B2B business. Check out any of these videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.